What's up? This is Ryan. And this is Michael. And we're back from the dead. We came back just we to did. hunt your ass. <laughs> so the news, know. the news is the Jaguars uh, they lost uh, to the Chiefs, and we did our last episode on January nineteenth. And then I went into hiding for quite some time. I didn't shave, didn't shower for quite some time, and uh, eventually we realized we had to do another episode. Um, you had some problems with the with the dapper cuts. What was going on there? Yeah, I mean, so obviously dapper made cuts in the workforce, and uh, my salary went away for doing this show. So, right, I just you know was kind of depressed about it. But I decided, you know what, if you're going to come out of hiding after the Jaguars loss, I'll do it for free. So yeah, so we're back just doing it for free. So that's right. We're back. We're we're talking moments and uh, what the hell has happened since January nineteenth? Quite a bit. I, I mean, maybe one or Not two really. things right yeah i mean so, so yeah so let's start with the top right series yep. two just came to a close so that was a big thing so yep. there's so series two is closed we've got two seasons in the book now uh, the series two historical is still or legacy slash historical is still open okay but the uh but the season moments they are done so yes uh, l- let's just ask quick comparison what, what do you prefer season one or season two I mean, I think season one is always like the premiere and has all of like the, you know, kind of the, the newness of it. But the the thing I'll say about season two is it's kind of sneaky because there's a lot of, there's a lot less moments. So yes. it could be, you know, like down the road, if this turns into something, season two could be in a lot more demand, especially some of like the rookies and the right. debuts and things like that of players. And so who knows, you know, it, it's... Yeah. Um, but but I guess overall I still probably prefer season one, just because it was you know I guess call me sentimental or whatever. But yeah, you know, I just I like that initial season. Yeah, I agree. I do really like the low counts of season two, but uh, there's something kind of I don't know, maybe it's just a place in my heart for season one. So even though it was a, yeah. I think that was a well, Rams I mean, all- Rams Super Bowl or something like that, wasn't it? Yep. That's and there was right. like fifty thousand Cooper Cups that came out, but I still season one was pretty great. Yeah. I mean, with all the burn challenges and all going on or whatever, I feel like a lot of this apply is starting to go. I mean, you're seeing, I mean, like I was looking at the, uh, like the, uh, the circulation and like Jalen Rager, who was a 10,000 moment, he's got, right. you know, almost 4,000 burn now. So is he really up to 4,000? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. So yeah, some of them are getting down there. That's, they are. Uh, that's happening. They are. All right. So what do we got on tap for today? Well, I mean, we can talk a little bit about, like, challenges, what's going on, things like that. I just, you know, I think it's just time to get back in the saddle and get things going and uh, see if anybody will still watch this after we, you know, took a little hiatus there. So, Well, let's start with the challenges. Uh, why don't you uh, fill us in on what's been going on with the challenges lately? Yeah, so, I mean, they've been doing a pretty good job of trying to keep, you know, challenges going, um, you know, kind of during the off season. There's been... You know, like kind of one, basically one going on at all times. Uh, there was, you know, like kind of a weekly thing going on. Some pretty decent things have minted out. There was an opportunity to get a Stefan Diggs legendary. That was one of the recent challenges that went through. Some rares okay. were on that. Uh, yep. Last week they just finished out a historical. So season two closed, and then they did a historical challenge with Jalen Ramsey and Mike Evans. Okay. Uh, and they both minted out in like the, you know, three, four hundred range for some rares uh and then right now it's what's interesting right now is there's a challenge going on where it's like a daily challenge and it's all you so far all you've had to do is just log in every day and pick a moment like have an have a quarterback have a tight end have a running back so you know right now it's just pretty simple i don't know if it's going to get more complicated but there are two moments that you'll be able to mint out in the end it feels like it's going to stay pretty simple and they're just trying to reward the active kind of the people who are still on it. Um, but I think it's going to be a, it looks like it's, you know, probably going to mint out at like a common level or something, you know, just like probably, sure. I mean, it, it could actually, since rares are 2,500 and under, um, it could, well, actually that's not true because rares are only 25 and 2,500 and under for the series two. It's a little bit different with the, like the historical stuff. It has okay. to be a thousand or under for it to be a rare. So the the counts right. are different there. So that is news to me. I was unaware of that. Yeah, they changed that in the middle of season two, and okay. it 
um, it was like on the blog post. It was a blog post or something. So I definitely remember seeing that. But um, there, there's basically a two week challenge, and you get ten yards per day that you log in. And, sure. And um, you know there was I'm pulling it up right now. There was so like at thirty yards you get a single moment, a single common moment. At yeah. eighty yards you get a single moment that could be a common or a rare from series two. Okay. And then at a hundred yards you get the legacy DeAndre Hopkins and then 140 yards, you get the legacy Aaron Donald. So probably again, going to be common mints, but it's been Mm -hmm. interesting to watch. So you look at how many people have minted 10 yards or who who have, you know, at 10 yards. And so to me, that tells you how many people, how many different accounts are on the system. It was actually almost 12,000 people. So there's almost 12,000 active accounts. And then, people forget each day and so you've seen that number drop off so it was 12 12,000 you know right. on the first on the 10 yards and then it's to 9.2 7 and now when we get out to where we're at today it's like 2 2400 so okay. um, still quite a few people who are doing the challenges every day yeah. but definitely a significant drop from 11,000 to you know two and a half right thousand. right so yeah, I'm kind of curious to know what the user base is these days. I mean, we're in the middle of May, probably the weakest season or weakest month for the NFL season. I mean, this is yep. this is as bad as it's going to get. Um, if it's down in the dumps, if it's doing terrible or whatever, I mean, I think this has got to be I th- bottom of the if, barrel. I mean, are you, are you thinking think the same June, thing? If I remember right, June was the – because May you still have rookie mini camps and OTAs. Okay. And then okay. June is the month where you don't have anything. It's like there's really not anything in June and early July until mini camps start in, you know, kind of mid to late July. So if I, and again, I don't, uh, I'd have to look at the numbers, but I feel like June. Yeah, there's a schedule release coming out Thursday. So I guess there is something going on in May. Not yeah. that it's there's much. A, I mean, again, there was, there was rookie mini caps this last weekend. There's going to yeah. be um, OTAs for, you know, And there's for teams. nothing going on in June? I don't know. It's typically when they like kind of let them go between like, that's really the football players time off is those six weeks, uh, like June through the beginning of July. And then you got to report in shape to many, you know, to, to training camp in July and, you know, mid to late July. Right. Am I so. wrong? Am I thinking, but last June, I felt like the market kind of took off a little bit. See, we thought it was going to be in that. It was low, but maybe, yeah, it might've been, it might've been, maybe April, it was early May July. I don't know what it was, but I, f- I mean, I feel like, you know, once you get late June, once you start getting in the kind of later part of June, I mean, football season is kind of a little bit underwear. I mean, like it's, it's going to be kicking into gear pretty quick after that. Yeah. I think once you get, yeah, definitely once you get to July, we'll see what happens in June. But I do think that, you know, we thought, I know that we talked a lot about this back <laughs> In our last episode, but uh, many really, years ago, <laughs> many many years ago, but there hasn't been like a huge drop in the prices. Like we're still like, you know, should we bring some of those up and there, take a look like at the them? Two, what's that? Should we bring them up and kind of look at like sure. what we're kind of talking about? Yeah, just so I mean, just so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that's not going to be possible. Yeah, exactly. Just like All the right, time you told me that the yeah. Lions couldn't beat the Packers. <laughs> They did beat the Packers. Yeah, but you told me it wasn't possible. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. So, let's see here. Oh, you might want to click out of those porn tabs. Oh, my bad. All right. Uh, <clears throat> hey, I, I like what I like. So, leg- so actually, what I've seen, like, I mean, if you look at legendaries, the, the floor got into the 200s, like the 299, 275 yeah. range. It's, and it's Kazanka. It's right that. 300 range yeah good old kazanka there yep 325 I mean, again it's gonna it's historicals that are gonna be the lowest but you can see right here the the lowest of the kind of the active players is this mike evans 365 just because he has so many legendaries well, now but okay mike evans yeah yeah so can i can i just make Stephon it Diggs. yeah if you could just pop back up to the top there for a second i, I just wanted to note something um that Larry Zonka is powering his way through Vikings in that legendary moment. That's just a little something I wanted to note for the crowd. All yes. right, we can move on now. All right. <laughs> Someone somewhere is going to get your uh, reference there. Yeah, maybe. You never know. 
But yeah, so so legendaries have kind of settled right around that three hundred floor, and in all honesty, the I would say it's closer to four hundred because if you look at what's like you know, like all of these are three nineties, three eighty, three seventy four, but yeah, you know, there's not a lot. There's only what eight that are here in the in the kind of the less than four hundred row, and right. oh, look, there's the Jags legendary. It's slowly yeah. dropping down for you. And there's another Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of Jaguars here. In there's the, a know. dent. Here's another dent. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there's another reference for you. <laughs> yeah, there's, that's a good one. Though. Sorry, folks. That's okay. Somebody's gonna know who Dudley is. All right. So, um, so yeah. So, so Let, let's they're, let's they're check the high same. side. Let's let's see what's going on uh, on the other side of town. Sure. That's gonna be the Aaron Rodgers and the uh, what Tampa Bay debut. Yeah. Tom Brady. Oh, that's right. I was thinking of the debuts, but yeah, that's. I was thinking of the debut moments, but yeah, Tom Brady and Mahomes. I forgot about the Mahomes legendary. That's only right. sixteen when they minted that one. I got Trevor Lawrence up there, number five. So, number six. Sorry, my counting's a little off. It's it's okay. It's, you know, <laughs> you gotta get back into it. <laughs> five, six. It's all the same. Yeah, whatever. Jamar Chase is kind of up. I don't remember that one being that high. I don't either, but it is a series one, and it's his rookie year. Forty nine, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's part of. I mean, Trevor Lawrence, same thing. It's not his debut, but it is his rookie year, so that's probably why these two are so high. Yeah, up. absolutely. And Trey Lance, still doing things. Ah, oh, man. Twenty eight eighty. I mean, they're still holding out hope for him, but I feel like the, this one could be declining quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of impressed with how much value it's actually retained. Although Zach Wilson is uh, showing us how bad it can get, too. Yeah, that's also true. So he's not, who knows if that's where he's going to go. But, yeah, I mean, it's obviously the big names are up here. Yeah, that Josh Allen's really dropping. Wasn't that like a $6,000 moment at one point? Probably. I want to say I mean, a lot of these were super high. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's true, close. but I feel like that one has dropped significantly. Yeah, legendaries. The top end of legendaries have definitely taken a hit, but the but the low end seems to just kind of be holding holding steady. Sure. Same thing with rares. It's like you can see the compression of the. Um, let me see if I have there. They are. So yeah, you can see here the compression's happening from the top down. So the the floor is still set at like that nineteen twenty, and you see most of the ones here are like the ones. They're all you know one thousand plus moments, right? Right. So, right. Um, unless you get there's a couple of defenders here at 20 so I take that back. Yeah. but you can see here like this was a challenge 2300 that's mm -hmm. a rare waddles and you know a 2000 here's another 2000 so those yeah. are some pretty but you see there's a decent amount like you know 316 burn to this 558 of that burn so the supply's coming down a bit right how many burns do they have on some of those rares like I see Buddha there's Baker's AJ green with almost a thousand burns yeah, but there's, you know, 2,181. Yeah. Look at Darnell Mooney. He's got quite a few burns for, you know, yeah. for his that number. brings him down to an 850. That's an 850 moment. Yeah, Antonio Freeman with but that. But then, other. yeah, you go to the, like, top of the rares, and it's going to be, like, Mahomes. I Lawrence so. is up there. Yeah, here you go. Lawrence in second place. Well, yeah, it's his rookie debut. I mean, that's a, yeah, that's a I big mean, moment. Like, Plus, his, I mean, with as well as he played, but even this has come down. This was a higher moment. This, oh yeah. I mean, we were. I remember doing episodes where this thing had a one in front of it, and it was eighteen ninety nine, not oh, eight ninety nine. Yeah. So, same thing with Herbert. It was twelve ninety five, not two ninety five. So, there's been <laughs> some uh, some major some major drops in some of these. Uh, that Justin Herbert moments. is just getting murdered. Yeah, because he didn't. I mean, again, they didn't win a playoff game again. The Chargers are doing Charger right. things, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when you had them pegged to like do pretty well? I do. Well, they made the playoffs, <laughs> but and I mean, I'm busting your balls tonight. You can bust my balls. That's fine. They, I mean, they made the playoffs. They had a good first half against Jacksonville, but then they just fell apart. I mean, nothing you can do about that. They did. Yeah. Hey, I like like I said, that was a great. That was a fantastic game. Great job by Jacksonville. It was a fun game to watch. So, yeah. I mean, I, if I was a Chargers fan, I'd be a lot more depressed. But yeah, it's, uh, it is okay. Derrick Henry coming up. 
So yeah, this is kind of a weird thing. I don't know what's going on with this moment, but it, this moment, it, something's up because it happened all today, actually. Really? So you look, this moment, if you look at the like recent sales, I mean, look, it was selling for 89, 90, 92. And then all of a sudden huh. it just, everybody delisted it or I don't know what happened, but it was like someone saw that there was a big jump and they bought up the supply. You can see there was two Weird. there. They bought them up for 90 and 91. And then the price jumped to like 300. And now people have been filling in. It's back down to 200, but it's interesting because it's a, it's a low, you know, it's a low count for a rare. It's what, 550. Right. So. Nice pass. Yeah, it was. Great play. I mean, you can, what a, yep, good old Hooper caught that one. So. Yeah, Mr. Hanging with Mr. Hooper. Um, all right, let's go back to rares. Let's see. How are those dynamic moments doing? It's like they're so kind of. So Chiefs dynamic moments right there, yeah. third most expensive rare. Did they ever add the Super Bowl clip to that? Did you ever go back and check? Yeah, they did. They added all oh, the clips. They kind of I'm released sure they it did. over weeks and stuff. So Got it, it was like reveals. But like you can see those dynamic moments. That, you know, you look what just the top twelve rares. Yeah. And there's three of them that are dynamic moments: the right. Bills, the Bucks, and the Chiefs. All their moments are yeah. You know, in the top twelve. Right, right. They are lower counts, but yeah, no, they've held up well. Yeah, they have held up really well. In fact, that's something, I mean, I've been watching because I was hoping that some of them would drop. But even like the Giants and the Seahawks and some of the lesser teams, they're all staying around that $80, $90, $70 mark. I mean, they have sure. not moved down. So, Man, and uh, Brock yeah. Purdy is just, I cannot believe he's held on so well, especially with that injury he took. I mean, yeah, but he's supposed to be back. So, I mean, I think a lot of people are high on him. And it's his, oh, is it, no, he's got a common too now, but. I mean, it's yeah. a that's a big moment. It's only five hundred and eighty of them, so that's a sneaky that's a sneaky yeah. debut moment right there. There should have been, I mean, there How could have been Nick thousands Bolden? of them. What's Nick that? Bolton over there. Well, I guess there's only one hundred nineteen of Nick Bolton, but still. Yeah, this was the this was a, a challenge. Super Bowl. Oh, was it? But still, yeah. like, doesn't have many burns, does it? No, it has none because it was a it was a challenge, and a lot of people. Like, I actually thought this one was going to wind up being a legendary, but I mean, uh, just enough people had it that it just tipped the scales enough to not be a legendary. Right. In fact, this might be one of the least, like, as far as rares, I think that might be the lowest count rare there is. What what happens if, you know, 20 people decided to burn that? Does it become a legendary or does it just stay a rare? I don't think it does because Peyton Hendershot, um, mm. His moment. Remember how he got burned? It's still a common. Yeah. Even though That's it's true. count That's now, a it's point. a rare count. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that proves your point. So yeah. Interesting. But anyway, there's a lot of like yeah, a lot of good value out there. It's like if you're you know again if you're a believer in the product and such or whatever. There's I mean prices are still low comparatively. Yes. Oh, good old CD Lamb. This. Yeah. <laughs> So I remember we were on our trip in the D.C. Remember that we did oh, yeah. the live from the D.C. <clears throat> and the Ravens game. And this this burn and challenge happened that day. Yeah. And I remember I had a CD lamb and I was going to burn it to do the challenge and it didn't go through. And I'm so glad it didn't because <laughs> my, the CD Bye. lamb that I held on to wound up being worth more than the one that I would have burned them for. Yeah. Yeah, that was just such a weird burn. It was just such a, like, people just got crazy for that one, and it just was such a negative value. Yeah. How about Jamison uh, Williams still being up there, even with the the gambling charges against him? He's going to be out again. Yeah. Again, it's a low low count, though. So it's a right. rookie, and it's a low count. So it's. I feel know. like that's like a Charles Rogers right there that uh, is at 118. Yeah. He's starting to feel like he could be a bit of a bust. I mean, Lions receiver. I know missing a lot of games. But like, but to that point though, here's Rashawn Gary. This is his yeah. debut. There's only 188, and yep. he's going for 111. So, I mean, I mean kind of yeah. makes sense. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, should we hit Common Road? Let's hit Common Road. Obviously, start from the top because you start from the bottom. You're going to see. Oh yeah. 
I mean, I think the big thing from the bot. There's a ton of two dollar moments. I mean, I right. think two dollar really moments hit are the here ones. to stay. Yeah, and that's the. Uh, that's. I don't see a one dollar moment really like taking effect unless there's like a massive drop off. You know what was crazy was that there was. I feel like there was like I don't know, I don't remember what it was, but there was like a month where one dollar moments were like kind of showing up very often, yes. and yes. it was like it almost felt like it was about to tip into that you know kind of one dollar moments category yes and then something happened like they did a challenge where some burns happen or whatever and it's just it hasn't like it's just stayed at two ever since i mean i mean you see a one every once in a while but yeah not, yeah a one dollar moment like you want to get me to buy something if they're one dollar i'll pick them up yeah i mean I, and i think that's just it though is it's like the minute there's a one dollar moment it's it's sold instantly like if you right. want you know if you put your moment at a dollar it doesn't matter who it is it'll sell instantly right because like, you can't like, you literally can't lose money on it if unless you just can't sell it you can't yeah unless you yeah exactly so i guess you can lose um, the fee but yeah but i mean again it's not you can't do you can't do that bad right like the, the fee yeah. is five percent so the worst you're gonna do is l- lose a nickel on it so um, all right. So here you go. Top top commons. Of course, the Brady debut, which again that's dropped quite a bit. Now that's eighty one. This was like know. you know. Uh, I think now that he's retired, people are gonna like. I you, wonder about that one. Yeah, I think it's like you saw with Roethlisberger. It's like there's no respect for retired players. People just keep people for utility. Yep. It seems like a lot right now in fantasy, and so Tom yes. Brady's fantasy value is zero. So mm-hmm. that's why we saw it drop to eighty-one. Mahomes twenty-four, the Hender shot. Now again, this is it says just common seven thousand, but it's down to like a thirteen fifteen hundred range now. Right. I mean, look, 50, yeah, fifty-six twenty-three burned. So yeah, there's only what fourteen uh, thirteen seven or thirteen seventy-seven. Seven. Yep. So. So yeah, so that's a it's like kind of a misleading common, but that's why yeah. obviously he's only 20, you know, he shouldn't be $22. He's not that amazing of a player, but because it's such a limited one. Yes. All yeah. because of the red bucket. Yeah, all because of the red bucket. All right, let's yeah. get on the next row here. Yeah, Burrow, yeah. Chase, Jefferson. So all your big yeah, ones. Jefferson's kind of back up a little bit. Yeah. Josh Allen debut, man. That thing is just absolutely tanked. 18. Well, it's because he lost in the playoffs. That's one where I look at it and think, boy, I'll tell you, that could be that could be worth something. It could, but at the same time, Jalen Hurts' debut is $17. So, I mean, and this guy was, yeah. the, you know, he, this guy could have been the MVP of the Super Bowl if one well, pass yeah. goes a different way. That's true. That's if true. that Nick Bolton play doesn't happen, that's your Super Bowl MVP right there. Right. I agree. So... And then you see Lamar Jackson, Justin Fields, and that's the Lamar Jackson where there's only like a thousand of these, like so, five thousand. Yeah, yeah, this is like a good example of like it's a six thousand run, but the only about a thousand of these, maybe fifteen hundred, are out in the wild. Sure. And so you just don't like it's just it's artificially inflated because they haven't released the bulk of those uh, moments. Right. I mean, look, it's higher than his debut. Like that's yeah. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But it's just due to supply. So. How about Reggie Same Wayne? thing with, like, Traylon Burks. Like, Traylon Burks, good wide receiver. He could be really awesome, but his, right. you know, he shouldn't be a $12 moment when, no. you know, like, uh, Christian Watson's, like, a $5 moment because, correct, correct. you know. It, but, again, this is just a supply constraint um, pump on that one. Like, How again, about Reggie here's a great White? example. Garrett Wilson, right? Yeah. He's $11. Why should, like, like, think about this. Who would you rather have on your team? Um, it's not even close. Either? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, come on now. Garrett Wilson. I mean, yeah, they, they, I mean, they've both played a year. I mean, I think they've got a lot to prove still. Totally, Garrett Wilson's but, had a had a great year, but yes, yeah, let's see if I he mean, can do one it rookie of the year. So, yep. And then Ramsey's higher right now just due to the – he was just in a burn challenge, so he's Oh, still, is that why he's so high? Okay, I was kind of mm-hmm. wondering that. Yeah. And then there's good old Jordan Love. Jordan Love, $9. Hey, I just want to say, I, I do if, remember if you go, when we were picking him up at the four to five dollar range. Yeah, if you go back into the archive of episodes, yeah, you had we were uh, definitely talking I, about picking him up. Yeah, well, I had him, and you had what's his name from Baltimore, Huntley. Huntley. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Huntley. Uh, I mean, it's. In, I'll be interested to see what happens with him. He's. I mean, I don't know. He, he seemed. Could be I mean, a star. He played well in the playoffs. He did all right with them. Again, yeah. you look at like that play against the Bengals. If that all that if that ball goes a little bit farther and penetrates the end zone, yep. Ravens are you know in the AFC Championship game possibly. So. Yep. There'd have been a little bit more penetration. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just the tip. Anyway, so yeah, so. Then you have like Kelsey, CD Lamb debut, Fred Warner yeah. debut. This must be another, yeah, uh, like another supply constraint. I mean, Fred Warner's an absolute dog, but like, still, that's he shouldn't be that high. Gronkowski's kind of holding up, I guess. Eh, seven bucks. I mean, you I know. mean, for you know, for what's going on, how is yeah. Chris Miller in the mix? How did his big face get in there? <laughs> I'm assuming it's because it's a low again. Same thing with Lance Briggs, yeah. right? These are low low count commons, only four thousand, and this is like right where you hit the sweet spot of people that own this product, right? Like yeah. we yeah, really yeah. had those numbers before, and it's like you can see there's basically about twenty five hundred people who are like active and like involved in the product like, on a daily basis, but there's like over ten thousand people who are like you know holders involved, so. Sure. When you have a four thousand common moment, it's gonna you know that that's gonna kind of pump that up a little bit. Yeah. Plus, this a big is an phase. interesting. I six dollars for Pacheco. I know that running backs don't command a lot, but that's a you know for his debut moment, he looked pretty damn good last year. Eh, we'll see how he does. But the again. Chiefs just burn through running backs. Yeah, I know. I get it. Yeah, they do. This guy. This is the guy. Whoever is waiting to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I... But see, I love, you know what I love seeing? I love seeing this. Vernon Davis, 2,500. Kellen Winslow, 2,500. That's, I mean, these are common debuts in the historical. I love seeing these low counts because, again, Absolutely. Like, it keeps, look at the value, $6 for these. Like, these would be, right. if these were 10,000, they'd be $2 moments. But they would be. Because yeah. they kept it low, they're at $6. So right. I hope they're learning. It's, I, I think if if they're smart, they're going to keep doing that because yes, when they grow this product and like people flood in, there's going to be such a demand. Like think of like when the supply is constrained, like it is. If all of a sudden there's like all these people that flood in, I mean it, prices were you know for the series one and two stuff, they're just going to like, I mean they could like explode. I mean I, I mean think about it. If the user base doubled, which isn't I mean again to think about another. 10,000 football fans buying moments. Like, yeah. it's not an inconceivable number, especially if there's, like, another... I know we keep talking about this, but another uptick in crypto and such. Right. I mean, some of these yeah. moments could just absolutely explode in value. Yes. It's, uh... Boy, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna... I'm, I'm becoming a little bit more doubtful on how things are... are gonna progress. See, I, I think it's, it's gonna take some yeah. time. It, it totally is, and I think that's... When people, like, when you're feeling doubt like that and people are feeling doubtful, I think that's actually a good sign because that's when people dump and people kind of, like, give up and lose hope and get out. Yeah. And it gives you buying opportunities. And then, like, this is where, I mean, again, you always hear about people who do this kind of stuff, right? Like, right. the market's down, people think something's going to die, and then it takes off. And then it dies. No, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, it may die, right? Could. This may be the USFL of... Uh, well, of, USFL uh, didn't do that bad. It was two years and done. I mean, had good players, but no, I'm talking about the, like the cards. That's what I'm saying. This might yeah. be the yeah. I mean, it's still not great though, but yeah, this could be like the the kind of the collector's like a, item. A, yeah, like a, oh hey, remember when they tried to do uh, football cards as NFTs? Remember that? Oh man, that was that was dumb. Who bought those? Not us. Yeah, thank God we're not all over YouTube uh, talking about them for yeah, fifty exactly. plus episodes. Yeah. What about uh, what's that guy's uh, the running back from the Broncos? Where is he at? He's a four dollar moment. Four, is he really yeah, four dollars? Yep. I mean, so if here, let's throw a, let's do this real quick. I mean, I always like to look at like the, uh, the rookies, rookie year, rookie mint, apply. So here's like your top rookies, right? Yeah, and it's like you can see it gets to five. I mean, look at this. There's like twelve guys that are five bucks or more, and then after that, you're down and you know you're at five or less. Drake London, Ramondre yeah. Stevenson, Sauce Gardner, yeah. 
Malik Willis. That's oh, God. dropping. Poor dude. Yeah. He's going to be yeah. cut. So there's Elijah Did Mitchell. Did he get cut? Four do- no, but I mean, oh, people are saying pr- he might. Yeah. Here's Javante. Four dollars. That one, that one right there is just screams bye, 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 bye to me. Yeah, Kadarius Tony. Now that he's on the Chiefs, I feel like that this is like a yeah. guy who could wind yeah. up being good. Elijah yeah. Mitchell was a you know decent back. The problem with the Niners is they just now they have McCaffrey. It's like it's going to be harder for him. Yeah. Um. Now we're kind of getting into the the weeds. I mean, a Elijah bit. Moore. Now that he's on the Browns, might be good. This guy, Jelani Woods, he is huge. This guy like a six seven tight end. And yeah, I I don't know if they just didn't have somebody who could throw to him, but this could be a sneaky good buy. This could be a guy that kind of like shows up this year and becomes a tight end. But yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I will say that I have purchased a few of these at the two and three dollar marks just because why not? And then poor look yeah. at poor Zach Wilson. Remember what this used to go for? I, I I'm I'm just gonna say it. I still think I'm still buying Zach Wilson's at three bucks. A quarterback. He's only been in the league two years. I know, but it's just to me that one's just like one of those where it's like he could yeah. get traded to the Saints next year and then start playing quarterback. And sometimes it takes these guys a little bit of time to get it all down. I, I would not. I mean, I wouldn't say that he is dead in the water, but I would just no. say he has fallen quite a ways. Yes, but you know, kind of like NFL all day, it might turn around. This guy Tyler Algier, he he really uh, yeah kind of kind of came out of nowhere we watched some games with him in him last year he's a i mean he's not the fastest dude but he is a hard runner I mean, that right guy but was... didn't they just pick up that other guy too now yeah they did. from uh, texas yeah and the other one josh palmer is like i mean you know i i still kind of believe in josh palmer a little bit i mean i yeah he played well i mean you go back and watch the playoff game he was making catches and such he's just it's hard for him because he's behind and here's another problem with Josh Palmer. He's behind Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, yep. and they just drafted. Uh, was it? Who was the guy they drafted in the first round? I, I don't know who they drafted, but it's another wide receiver. I, I right. don't want to worry another about. like deep, long, like long limb, deep threat guy, and so it's just Got he's it. just not. He needs to be on a different team. Josh Palmer needs to, a different team to like kind of shine. Yeah. Kyle Hamilton, Brian Robinson Jr., who was a pretty good back last year. But, yeah, again, it's like you, yeah. know, you have this Romeo Dobbs. I mean, Christian Watson kind of stole the spotlight, but Dobbs was a solid wide receiver. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, Green Bay yeah. is going to be a really interesting team to see this year. Yeah. Oh, Tyson Campbell getting down to be a $2 moment. Yeah. Alex Pierce, Connor Edwards. So <laughs> Bailey's happy. <laughs> Oh Bailey, I mean, I think he, I think the Alec Pierce, that guy was kind of coming on as a pretty good wide receiver. He was, so like that to some, me right you know, there might be a sneaky good buy for two bucks. You really can't lose on that one. No, you really can't. I like. Yeah, like you I might said, lose I on like, Bailey Zap. Zap is it Zappy or Zap? Zappy. Okay, boy, that's just not a good name, Bailey Zappy. Whew. that's a little unfair. You just love the Patriots, we know. Well, yeah, that's true. All right, so now we've explored the moments. What else do we got left to talk about here in our comeback episode? <laughs> we're, we're like the Jaguars, right? We were down, we were down big, way down. We've worked our way back, um, and now we're you know now we're in position for that game winning uh, that game winning field goal. Was it a field goal? They kicked a field goal at the end. Yeah, they kicked a field goal at the end. Yeah. So let's let's talk about just the the overall outlook of all day, where we're kind of, you know, what what's your opinion on what's going on here? I mean, I know I've got some pretty stagnant. If I were to take a word right now, I would say yeah. it's just stagnant. Like it's, I mean, I appreciate like I so uh, I love the product, so I'm kind of here and watching the marketplace and just like looking to see what costs what and things like that. Sure. Um, so, but I will say this. So, uh, and I did want to bring this up, which is that they had this whole thing where their ACH processor went down, right? So you couldn't make a transfer before yeah. you could, if you wanted to bring in, like, let's say I wanted to bring in $200 and go buy some moments. Yep. I could transfer it over and it would pay like whatever it was like a buck or two to transfer money from my bank. Fine. Like a dollar or two. Right. And yep. so that went down and then. 
it was your only option was crypto, which means buy crypto, trans, you know, yeah. all that, blah blah blah. Complicated for a lot of people. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. Right, exactly. Or you could do it with credit card, and credit cards had a five percent fee, which is ridiculous, right? So it's like if I'm paying, you know, two hundred dollars, that's another ten dollars now that I have to pay. So right. And it's like Dapper needed to realize, like, hey, we're inconveniencing our customers. We need to make it easier for them to pay. So they did. So they actually made it where they took away all credit card fees. So you could just transfer. You could say, hey, I want to put $200 on my visa, and I want to bring it over, and right. I'm going to spend that. And they made the fees zero. Right. Awesome. So I, I actually made 100 transfers of 2 bucks. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. And we talked about So, yeah, wait, we'll get to your point. But, but so, okay, so they did that, and then they took it away. And I think I think a lot of people probably got like, what the heck, you know? Like, there's no cheap yeah. way to get money in my account. Like, I know right. me personally, like, I wanted to buy some moments, but they took it away, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna put money into this if they're, you know, like, I wanted to put in a couple yeah. hundred bucks. I'm not gonna do that if they're gonna charge me five percent. So, right, they just announced in the Discord yesterday that they're back okay. to zero fees for a limited time, which is how it should be. And you yeah. and I were talking about this and it's like, hey, look, I'm if they want to set like a minimum, like they want to say exactly zero hey, percent fees on credit cards if it's two hundred dollars or more or a hundred whatever number is I think a hundred dollars is fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean think that's I, a like, nice round number. It. Like it shouldn't yeah. be hopefully people aren't buying like doing like what you're saying, which is like buying two dollar moments and every time using their credit card because again that's just you know that is going to cost them money. So if they want to set a right. minimum and just say hey it's a hundred dollar minimum I'm fine with that. I think that's I think fair. that's the happy medium. Yeah. yeah. You just do a hundred dollar minimum and yeah. yeah until I think until they get survive. the ACH back up. And then that's fine. Then I'm fine with it. Right. But it's like that that was a little bit of a I don't know exactly what happened there, but that's kind of a, a dumb move to take that away and make it you know it's like we the product is already needs everybody it can get. Don't make don't make it like harder to, to support you. So Yeah. Yeah, so if I could sum up the all the experience in one word, I'd use the word boring. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit bored with what's going on, um, and I, and I understand that there's there's growing pains and there's this and that. I just, I, I don't know. It just feels like it's kind of like it's like we're stuck in the mud and it's like we're spinning around and we've been doing it for like a half an hour and it's like fuck, we're not going anywhere. So um, what, what do you think would make it more exciting then for you? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, I, I think maybe, like, I think maybe they need to rethink how they're doing the challenges. Mm -hmm. It feels like, feels like very, uh, like it's the same thing. First of all, I don't like how you have to go in and check, 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 check. I feel like I'm just, it's like, I'm just doing busy check work, you know? It's, mm -hmm. Sometimes I... I don't want to. I don't want it to auto populate because I want to know kind of what's going on. But I almost feel like you know, if it just kind of populated like what I could choose, and it, it could be like kind of like a quicker thing. Um, I'll give you an example. I thought on for the draft, they should have done team moments in the draft order. Like you had to get the team moments in the draft order, and if you got, you know zero or like picks one through 10, you got something. If you got all the way through 20, you got something. And it's like, I just felt like there just needs to be something kind of fun. It feels yeah. like it's, it's like pick the players. You love you know, those team moments. No, it's not even the, it's just, it's something it, different. It's well, like, I hear you, but the problem would have been, what about when the Titans and the Jets picked? It's like, that's you have the, to have a legendary. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So exactly. So then you could have made it kind of, you could, I mean, again, you could have made it kind of, you know, kind of fun and kind of like people would have been fighting over those jets legendaries how high are they going to go it's just like yeah. again it just seemed like a layup you know something like that it it just feels redundant in the fact that it's well, I get like I, i've kind of i've come to the conclusion that people love fantasy they want to pick the players and all that but there's a time and a place for that and sometimes you got to kind of think outside the box and kind of just mix it up a little bit just to kind of Maybe get some of the guys out in the weeds that are kind of like this is getting boring, and maybe it's not. Well, maybe maybe that part isn't for me. I don't know, but I, I found myself to be quite bored with some of the challenges, and that it's just the same thing over. Yeah, maybe so come I, up with a different way of how they do the challenges. Like instead of like checking the boxes of who you want, I don't. Maybe 
you know, like I, I had that one uh, thing where like I was saying that you're almost like gambling a moment. You know, you mm-hmm. put up a moment and, you know, like if you lose the gamble, like if you lose the bet, you lose the moment type of thing. You know, like something to that effect. Like when they said, who's going to be the number one draft pick? Is it going to be CJ C. Stroud or is it going to be Bryce Young? You know, you pick one and you have to put up a moment. And if you get the right one, then maybe you get something, you lose it, you lose a moment. You know, something like yeah. that. It's just something where people are like, whoa, have you seen what they're doing now? This is kind of different. You know, it's change it up a little bit. Think outside the box. Yeah. I mean, I, I hear you, but at the same time, I mean, the Jets do have two legendaries now, but I thought I thought they only had the one. But No, they had two. Yeah. But, I mean, still, even that, that's, a, that's that, the problem with that is that only 85, 84 people are going to be able to complete this challenge. And so. Wait, no, no, no. When did the draft, when did they draft? Look at the, look at the draft order. I went through there and figured it out. Like, okay, the Jets. Like NFL draft, I think they went fifteenth or sixteenth, right? So what I was saying is, if you made it one through ten, you would get like you know like again you'd have like a certain thing. If you made it through like like you know like you'd have to kind of make it so like the Jets would be the cutoff. Now if they traded, then you know things would get a little bit like. Well, you what know? about the Titans though? The Titans picked in the top ten. They have a cheap rare, dude. Oh no, they didn't. They picked eleventh. The the Titans have like the cheapest rare in the world. Oh, do they have a cheap rare? So yeah. who's the, the Packers? The Packers it's, are the ones that only have. The it's legend. the Buccaneers. Is it, oh, is it the Buc- Oh, what do the the Packers have? A, what do the Packers have then? I don't. The Packers might be in the same boat. I don't know. No, the Packers have a rare. Do they? Yeah, remember it's part of uh, the. Uh, I don't want to say it's like the. Uh, I forget what it's called. I forget what the name of the, the series is called. But yes, the yeah, Packers do. Two minute drill. Two minute drill. There you go. So yeah. So six. Okay. So there. All right. They did. So, so again, like you could have gone all the way up to pick number fifteen. You could have had a cutoff, and then you know, I mean, again, just like I don't know, do something kind of like fun where like people like are kind of fighting over like the Jets moments. Yeah. And maybe the Jets moment goes up to four thousand dollars because people are getting nuts about it. You know, it's just like people want those points. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not like. F- let's just pretend I have no team moments. Let's say I don't like have anything. Like I don't even give a fuck about not being part of it. it doesn't even yeah. matter about me. It's just the fact that it changes the dynamic. You have to think differently. And I, I again, if they, they could choose kickers and punters for all I care. I, I mean, I, but, whatever but what they want to do. How, how do you have to think differently? I don't understand. Like, what are you doing? I, I, I think that a lot of people have collected players and again it's just you know you have these team moments it's like use them from time to time Mm -hmm. you know it's like you have something and it's like you have the perfect time to use it you know another i'll give you a futuristic one like could be like i mean again this is more of a long-term thing but you could use like team moments to maybe predict week one or something like that of the first you know like you could predict the games and it's like you could somehow use you know, the team moments for that, or, you know, pick four winners or something. Again, you don't have to use team moments all the time, but just use them like quarterly or something. You know I mean? They're like bi-quarterly. I mean, just sometime. Because again, it's just like some of these things just like lose their momentum. It's, they have all these challenges they're running. Run one that's a little bit different from time to time. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's well, just and I li- think I think you're gonna. Well, so two things. One is season two. There wasn't even all the teams didn't even have a moment, so that made it tough. And then no, they did. No, the, not until the Browns season were two. the last. The one. Broncos didn't get it until midway through season two. No, no, no. I, I I realize that, but they 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 actually did a better job earlier on using the team moments. You remember when they were using like the Vikings, the Giants, and the mm-hmm. Cowboys for like a a challenge. So they, they actually did a decent job at, at a certain point, but I, I feel like the draft is a great time to use the team moments to pick the draft order. It's like, that's a well, fucking slam Well, the draft order dunk. was set, so you're saying picking the trades, or you're saying... No, I'm saying, like, if you have, like, like can you allot slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, you're, like, picking, like, I've got the mm-hmm. team moment for all these, whatever. And so, yeah. like, it raises the floor of, like, team moments for, like, you know, maybe from six bucks to ten bucks just to give them a new life and then maybe they'll drop back down to six bucks but again it's just like people think hey maybe i'll need the team moments from time to time i don't know i don't care if they're worth diddly shit at the end the idea is that you've got all these moments use them 
That's it. Yeah. That's all I care about. And so I get that everybody wants quarterbacks and star power. Make 95% of the challenges about that, but try to use the other utility that you have in some of these other products from time to time because otherwise it just becomes like, oh, why do I even have it? Why is it even there? Well, I mean, I think, yeah, So, but it's harder to do that with like the defense. You know, it's easy to do with offense, right? So it's easy to say like, Get a quarterback who throws for 300 yards. Get a running back who scores a touchdown. Get a this, right. get a that. Yes, the but we're in the offseason. No, I know. But what, but what I'm saying is it's like with the draft or whatever, it's like why is it, you know, it, I, I hear what you're saying. So, what I mean, what challenge did they do for the draft? They didn't. I thought they did something. They did like a draft week challenge, but it wasn't related to anything to do with like the right. draft. It was. Uh, I mean, like even if like if they would have done it, like say they would have done the team moments, and you had to pick like the draft order, and you had to like predict the trades, like you know what I mean? Yeah. And like you know who would have gotten the Cardinals right? You know maybe Daniel Jeremiah, and that's about it. But yeah. I mean, again, they could have made some like crazy prize if you can get all the team moments in order. Like you know, even if you, even if they made it like you don't have to own the team moments. You just got to take the picture of them and put them in like the draft order, and you have to pick the draft order and see like almost like a, a bracket for the the NCAA tournament, you know, just see yeah. can anybody get it right. I mean, again, it's just simple shit. Don't even have yeah. to own a team moment. You just got to guess the order. That would have been something I'd have been like, eh, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's they did do what did they do? They they did some stuff in Discord where it was like guessing picks and things like that. And sure. they gave away stuff to people there. So I think, you know, they're engaging with people there, but it wasn't as much like what you were talking about, where it was just like submit, enter, do this, do that. So, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but it just wasn't. Right, just wasn't right. Something that again, I, you know, I'm just, I, I'm a little bit bored with the product right now, but again, it's not yeah, football season. So, you know, I'll, I'll get over it. I'll get over it. Sure? So do you got any, uh, anything that they should be doing? Uh, I mean, again, I just, I think it's, um, you know, it's like, it's easy to sit here for me to say, oh, they should get new users. But um, I, I know they've been trying things to do that. But it's like, that to me is like, that that's like yeah. still where it's at. Like, we've got to get more people on the platform. So get the fucking kids. Get the kids. So get a fucking school bus, put Patrick Mahomes on it, you know, paint it up, start sending it out. Like, like, like let's get the kids involved. Like, give them I their, I, I mean, just want to. S- I just want to say this. If if the kids end up being the answer, we're going to do an entire episode dedicated to me calling that, okay? If the kids end up being the answer. If they do, I think... We're yeah, going to do a I special think, dedication episode to me yep, for calling that shit. And where I will extol... I will sit here and talk about how ama- how early you knew it and how you called it and how you knew it. And how it. you all laughed at me. I did. <laughs> I still will. It was I the still- kids... They'll so, ruin the product. I, again, I'm not saying they'll ruin the product. I'm just saying it's not. It's it's not in a. I think you know. Again, like there's like talk about apps and stuff, and I think eventually where like yeah, l- like what crypto like not to get too like macro level here, but like what crypto needs is that you shouldn't have to buy things on the Dapper platform. Like right. It, it's it's still too like clunky. It should just be I open an app, I see. Moments I want to buy, I buy them. They're there. Like I don't have to approve. Like I don't have to approve and move this or whatever. It's just like I pay for them. I buy them. Like I can add them to my cart. I can be like, I want an Aaron Rodgers and a this and a that and a that. Those ten buy sold. Like yeah. just like you would log on to you know any other shop that sells cards or things like that. You just yeah. buy them. Like just that's it. And you know people would be like, well, what if you know someone else buys that moment? Well, when it tries to settle on the blockchain, it'll say. Hey, sorry, this purchase didn't go through. Somebody <coughs> stole it out from under you, right? Yeah. I mean, so what do you think about? When, when oh, good. That's that's what needs to happen. Like if you like for your kids, for the kids to like get on the on the program, that's what needs to happen. So, okay. what about bidding? What do you, you know? What do you think about like kind of like I, stocks yeah. or like crypto? Like where you like say, you know, like I see your, you know, like there's so many like weird rare moments. Like I see your. I don't know. Let's say Rashawn Gary is that that's his name, right? Gary yep. for yep. the Packers, and it's like I'm willing to pay X amount of dollars, and somebody's yeah, like, offers you know like OpenSea. Like most NFT platforms have that. I think that would be an interesting. 
Um, I think that would be an interesting thing because it's like, yeah, I would say, like, I see you have something I want. I want to make an offer for it. Here's what I'm willing to offer. And then that right. person can make that decision. Because I think, again, I, yeah. So I think that would be that a would great help feature. Sales. Yeah. Oh, totally would help sales. Because I think, yeah. There's, I there's a ton of it. negotiating that goes on the Discord and back channels and that kind of stuff. But imagine, like, that's, like, it's hard. You have to find somebody on Twitter or here or there. Or imagine what is it, XYZ, like, yeah. Yeah, you just find what you want, offer it up, and that's that. Like, that yep. would be yeah. a huge step. Yes, because I feel like, you know, for me, like, you know, maybe I want a Jaguars guy and I want a, sp a certain serial number. Right. Then I want to be able to say I want the number 16 serial number of, you know, this DJ Chark for some reason. And it's like I can go out and I can offer a specific amount for that. And somebody's like, fuck, I was not going to do Jack with this anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll sell it to you. Right. I feel like there'd be a lot more like people getting the stuff that they actually want in their hands. And being able to let go of some of the stuff that they don't necessarily I, want. To I have to imagine that's something that they're working on, or maybe All Day already has, or not All Day, but Top Shot, or I, I don't know. But sure, like that's got to be on the roadmap. I cannot. Yeah. I mean, it's it's such a critical part of most NFT platforms. It has to right. be on the roadmap. So. And I and I know that the Evaluate X Y Z has the trade feature, but again, you got to go out there and like yeah. It just feels like another place you got to go and you got to look for. And I'm and I'm grateful that they have it, but it doesn't feel like it's. Again, it's it's not user friendly. Yeah, you got to go out and seek this out and you know whatever. And uh, just moving, kind of changing topics here. Another thing I still really want to see is I want to see the ability to take these and take them off network and like put them in a wallet because mm. you know like let's say you know Dappers has got got this whole like securities thing going on right now it's like i would like to know that i could take these and put them in another wallet and have them you know i i, I guess if the flow network goes down they're gone but right. the idea that i could take them and just kind of at least have i guess like the, the keys to them uh you know or like you know on, on a different wallet um not being held on on the flow network essentially so like i mean i guess the idea that something went down we could always get them back later I, I think that i'm saying this right i mean i think what you're talking about exists i don't know how like how good it is but i do believe that there are off-chain wallets that you can or like kind of cold no, i've storage. explored that I, i've i've explored the block toe wallet that's like the only one that you can do and i just like you know it's it, there's it's not really nfl friendly it's top yeah. shop friendly but uh, yeah. And again, that would be a flow wallet. Right. So I, it looks I like there's I, a flow wallet here. Right. But you're not going to be able to store your NFTs on a ledger. It, it would it would need some type of like implementation of like the all day. Uh, would it? Yeah. 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 I mean. I, I don't maybe there's some way to you know I, I can't say that I know the ins and outs of that but I know if you put in block toe yeah I mean anyway. I would have to do some research yeah we'd have it, to yeah we can skip this for now but anyway I'd <laughs> yeah, like to exactly. see that can be I'd a future like, episode exactly <laughs> All right, uh, so let, let's go through the rookie since we got him up. Which, uh, which, what are your top three moments that you're looking forward to seeing? What top three moments am I looking forward to? Of what? Of the top? How many are we talking? Yeah, just go top. Let's go first round. First round. Yeah. Uh, or which ones do you think are going to have the most value? Maybe. I mean, I, I, I obviously mean, it's, it's going to be a core. You know, it's, quarterbacks right but let's let's talk about quarterbacks and who we think might convert into good pros like i mean honestly i think ah oh gosh i mean it's it's so hard to tell um yeah i mean year one year one's gonna be different right i feel like year one probably gonna see these two guys but you know this guy this guy's like such a boomer bust i mean he could be amazing or he could be sure you know, he could be kind of out of the league in three years. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I'm purely, it's just purely guessing, honestly, for me. So I'll just go ahead and say 
I'm going to say Anthony Richardson. Why not? I'm All right. Just go big. All right. I'm going to I'm going to say uh Dalton Kincaid is going to oh, be the a tight guy. End. Yeah, I feel like he's, you know, I feel I feel like Buffalo's kind of going under the radar. I feel like Buffalo's going to be good again next year. And I feel like he's going to yeah. start catching a lot of balls and I could see him being part of a challenge or being like kind of like that Dallas Goddard. I don't know how they're going to manage his moment like as far as how many he gets, but if he gets, you know, like let's say he came out as just a rare, you know, I could see him being one that gets gets up there. I could also see uh I mean I, Oh, go ahead. Right there is uh I, I was, was going to say, say I think oh, Bijan Robinson I think will be a good um, you know, like a decent value just due to fantasy and things like yeah. that. I, I feel like yeah. he's going to be a. Yep. Um, I mean, and just from what I've seen of him footage wise, he looks pretty pretty darn good as yeah, a, as a I, ball player. So, I was going to say maybe uh, Gibbs from uh, from the Lions. Now I've heard like people kind of back and forth on how he's going to do, but I kind of wonder if because uh, the Lions are looking a little bit more up, they haven't had a decent running game. Maybe he comes in and yeah. you know maybe has a few weeks. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Who knows? It's uh, that's it's going to be that's. I mean, yeah. That's the that's the fun of watching the the games and such. So, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So Gibbs. Yeah, he was a, what the twelfth. Here, yeah. Quentin Johnson. That's that's who the uh, Chargers. Okay. Were, by the way. Okay. I wouldn't say him. I would say uh, for my third, I will go with. Say. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, man, I don't know. I say like I want to say Smith and Jigba, but I know that he's gonna have to share with uh, DK Metcalf. But he might get a lot just because DK draws so much coverage. He might. I'll, I'll go with Smith and Jigba just because I think DK is gonna pull a lot of people over to him still, and so he should be pretty, pretty open. And and I feel like Geno Smith actually had a pretty good year last year, so I'll, yeah. I'll go with uh, I'll go with Smith, Smith and Jigba. Can you go down a little bit further to for the receivers? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the other, other receiver, that I feel like the Zay Flowers could be kind of good, but I don't know. We'll go see. to the second round, if you wouldn't mind. Let's see, let's see what receiver was taken in the second round. Mingo. Okay. Oh, Jaden Reed, he's pretty decent. But the Packers got a lot of young receivers now. That's yeah, I don't know about the Packers. I'm just trying to see, like... Oh, the Chiefs drafted Rice. This, uh, again, that's yeah, an interesting pick. Yeah, could be pick. one. Yeah. I mean, anybody on the Chiefs could be one just because it's the Chiefs. And then you got Mims. Huh. So. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I really don't know. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Kincaid as my, uh, my number one pick as far as uh, yeah. pass catchers. I think he's to me he's kind of the sure shot. At least. Well, I'll tell you who I like in this second round though is this guy right here, Keon White. I was yeah. uh he he looks like he's gonna be a ball player. Like I like I like the way he plays ball. I, I feel like yeah. he might be a, he might be one of those ed, like all these edge rushers picked before him and I think he might be kind of definitely better than some of the guys that were picked before him. I'll tell you, you know, who really looks the part and that's uh who's picked at number seventeen there. In the second round, oh, right there, yeah, yeah, Cody. Yeah, go ahead and click on Cody. Give him some air time. He's uh, yeah. Cody, Cody's a looker. Yeah, he is a looker. <laughs> I love, I love the the fact that he's rolling with the no two front teeth. So, yeah, he's totally uh, like hacks on J- uh, Jim Duggan. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like the reincarnate. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, I had to get that all right. right. All right, I think we're uh, closing out this uh, yeah. this comeback episode, which. Might have fallen a little bit short, but uh, oh. <laughs> hey, we're back. We're back on we're the back, bike. bitches. We're, we're pedaling again here. We are. We are. It takes some time, but you'll get back on. So it's good to see everybody. 